Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Expo September 28, 2016 at 12.54 a.m. And I've been waiting for this one. I, I was hoping it would come in a lot earlier than it did, but it came in. And what it is, it is there's a hidden agenda all along when the Democratic side jumped up and down on the moderator who it was going to be, and they wanted him change because he was not pro-Hillary. Well, he wasn't pro-Trump either. But And you, caught, you guys remember this, I'm sure. At least I think you do. But anyway, Lester Holt came in. With him came a problem. And I'm going to let you hear that. Bear with me, hang in here a minute and a half, and then you will know, and then you will see the next debate, there will be a change. So listen right here to what uh, they're saying on Fox and um, why everybody's boiling upset mad because this was a setup all along against Donald Trump. Turn that noisy air off. I want you to hear this. Okay. Listen to me, please, right here for a minute. Watching uh, all of the spinning and, and analyzing going on uh, on the television and reading the accounts online and in the newspapers, it varied from, you know, Hillary Clinton had the upper hand, she did better in this first presidential debate, to she clobbered him, uh, he ran out of material, uh, he didn't look comfortable as a debater, and all of that. I didn't see anybody say, wow, Donald Trump really won this thing, and even his partisans are saying, well, overall, what do you think of the criticism that's been leveled so far, or what do you think of the performance of the moderator? Look, in the first 25 minutes, Lester Holt let the two candidates go at it. Uh, he took a passive approach. That was fine. In the last hour, there's no other way to say this, Bill. Uh, I respect Lester Holt and the career that he had. He was one-sided. Five fact-checking questions to Donald Trump, zero to Hillary Clinton. 41 interruptions of Donald Trump, seven times for Hillary Clinton. And it was worse than that. We, you just played the birther exchange. Three questions on that. Follow-up questions on Trump tax returns. Follow-up questions on uh, how he couldn't prove that he had previously opposed the Iraq war. All fair game, all legitimate, but nothing comparable on the Clinton side. So Trump earlier today said they were unfair questions. W were they unfair? Or were they just out of balance? They were not unfair. And had Lester Holt chosen to take a similarly aggressive approach with the Democratic nominee, uh, I think I would say he did a great job. But that was not the case. On the email uh, scandal, for example, the only time Lester Holt asked uh, Hillary Clinton about it was when Donald Trump brought it up in an answer and he turned to Clinton and Holt said, uh, do you want to respond to that? No follow up there. Uh, you know, it's easy to go through. He didn't ask this, he didn't ask that about the Clinton Foundation. But if you're going to take the uh, approach that you're going to interrupt and ask about Donald Trump's stock and stop and frisk policing policies, for example, when you do that repeatedly, and I'm not saying this affected the outcome. Hillary Clinton was more aggressive. Donald Trump was on the defensive the whole night. So it's not because of Lester mm -hmm. Holt. But if you. Okay, so you got it. Here you are. You have all these one-sided, and that took, th these questions took the remaining hour of time. And guys, this was uh, so absolutely crooked. It was unbelievable. I got to plug this thing up. It's wine is making me crazy here. But you know what I'm talking about, and you know where I'm coming from on this. Uh, come on, find the hole. I can't do it. Anyway, it was a setup, and the look, they did the same thing last time with uh, Obama. And every time they would set up the moderator, they would give him a list. These are Obamas and these are the Republicans. These are Obamas, these are Republicans. They wouldn't ask even the same question. Okay, Trump, you explained what you would do in this situation. Now, what would you do, Hillary Clinton? They only said, would you like to respond? 
no more. So this has come out and there's more pissed off people than I've seen. Uh, I mean, at a fried chicken hut. And, um, but another thing, while I was getting this ready, I saw uh, there's, there's a lot coming on with this. A lot of people are like, well, now it's time for me to put mine up there. And they showed several places. And this is an insider. He's a cop. He's working inside. He knows who should be in this audience and shouldn't be. He is on a private mic. He did not key his mic, but he did his private one. He said, look, this place was about 25% full. It's been like that. He said, every event I have worked for Sanders and a lot for Hillary, every event that I worked, he said, there is no audience. There wasn't anyone there. He said, except the last three or four on Sanders and well, Clinton didn't have but one or two, but he said, all these people came in that I didn't know that wasn't on the list. I mean, they had tickets like they're coming to a football game. They got banners and they were being handed and some of them were carrying them. He said, only about another 25% capacity came in, but that 25% that came in were hired to come in from another location. They even brought banners that were penciled in and darkened with pencil and holding up this thing and trying to make a big deal when they're clearly, nobody wanted to see Sanders, just like Clinton. Nobody wanted to see her. She hasn't had one full house yet. I will say this. The next two fight outs, debates, I believe you're going to see a, a, a huge change. They're going to have a fair uh, question asking section. And look, they screwed Trump over. This is how they play, guys. You got to understand, it is the Illuminati that's running all of this. Lying, stealing is, is not only all of their game all of the time. They have it so that they'll continue to reign in the shadows for the rest of your life, your children's life, and their children's life. But thank God we won't be here that long. But Trump will make a difference. He will, he will save us. We will not get this report card or or evacuation notice to get out of your home, whether it's paid for or not, or a letter in the mail saying, sorry, the, you, the money you put in all these years, we don't have any more to give you back. And that check stops. If you want to see all that happen, then vote for Hillary. If you want to see a change, and you want to see this country turn around just as Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 says, because, look, why would God direct us at that passage if it didn't mean something for us today? This is something that no one's ever heard of this verse. It was never taught. Very few people, look, I've never heard of it. And you know how many I put at the bottom of my page? I never heard. And the reason it was my understanding of it. My understanding was 
if my people, and and I'm reading into this, but he's talking about the heads of the states. He's talking about the president, the vice president, the senators and Congress, just like George Washington, him and all the way down. You are the ones that have to pray for change to come to your country. But no, that's not the way. If my people, that's me, that's you, that's Christians, that's the people that he wants to hear or the people that understands the call. Look, we need to change our country or we're going to hand it over to the Illuminati, which is owned by Satan. That's his private little lie to this world that's been going on for hundreds of years, guys. And Donald Trump will take that Agenda 21 and rip it and burn it. And Hillary Clinton will lay it in your hand and said, you're now served. Move out of your house. We'll have your apartment ready and we expect you in it the next day. That's how it goes. By the way, you can't drive your car anymore. If you catch driving it, then we're going to have to penalize you. You know, that's the way things are going to be. If you don't stand up and get off your butt now, and I'm not talking about get off your butt to those who agree. I'm talking about those who those who want Hillary in there just so that they can continue getting a free check, free apartment, free gasoline, free food stamps. That's all they want is free stuff. You're the ones I'm talking about, all you bums. The rest of you guys, I love you. And John 3.16 says it all. And uh, but don't let Agenda 21 take it away from you, Jody Wolf exposed.